This is Sheila. It's 2013, March. No, April now. Beginning of April. It's a sunny day here, but I'm going taking us back to October 2007. I did an awful lot of family tree research around about that time when I had my camper van. And I made a des decision to go down to Cornwall to look for some of Zara's ancestors down there, the Barbaries. More than likely originated from the Barbary Pirates, a strong possibility. Anyway, Mum, I'm going to make my way down to St. Austell, where I'm going to stay in a campsite with my camper van and then wander around a place called Penchuan. A little Cornish smuggling port. Right then, here we go. Right, if I'm not going back to the caravan side yet, there's still hours of light left. This never guess he's only just up the road. So I'm going to go and have a wander there. And I'm going to probably eat out there as well. Should have gone to the toilet again. Right, the number for the Barbaries is 01626863, or it could be a 3 or 5, 175. I think it's 6863175. And that's June Barbary. Um, her husband is G. Carbeth, C A R B E T H, T H. And there's three sisters, I believe, Barbary sisters. Um, some live at Newton Abbott, and um, one lives at, um, oh, not Weymouth, um, I can't remember the name, oh, something Warren, um, anyway. And the woman I spoke to a minute ago was Margaret Mi Meehan, Meehan, and she used to be, um, I can't remember, I'll put it on tape anyway her maiden name. I got that further back on the tape. So that's hers. So it might be worth phoning them at some point. Right, I've just bought myself a two pound ticket. So I probably won't, I've got to come, probably come back tomorrow. Today I'll just be a sort of scout around. So I'll give myself two hours. <coughs> Entering Mivagasi, just past the, 90 yards past the car park, it's a toilet. There's also the Bible Christian Chapel, built in 1896. And then there's a congregational school, built in 1873. Also, St Andrew's Church now, Methodist United Reformed. Let's just have a quick look down there. So this is, um, Mevagasi, at the ancestral home of Zara, Pete, Marion. Um, the Marian side of the family, the Barbaries and the Pierces, the Miners. Of course, they were from somewhere else as well at one time. It's getting dusky now. Um, I mean, I've been here in the past, not where I'm walking now, but with the kids and Lockwood. Um, years ago and when I belonged to the Ocean Youth Club we we came into this harbour once. I remember and Foey Right. The church is the church Christ Church of St Peter Mevagisi. Opposite um a churchy looking building. Christmas cottage. There's several churches, but this is the Anglian, Anglican one. There's quite a few stones in here and all. I'm only scanning today. Just having a general look around. There's some, they all look pretty well preserved. There's one here. It's in the memory of Jennifer. Hugo, the daughter of George and Susanna Hugo, who departed this life year of August 1797, age 16. Oh, that's an old one, made of grey slate. 
That's just as you're coming through the gate. In living memory of Elizabeth, wife of William Richard Pierce, who died March the 13th, 1879, aged 39. There is a Pierce, I think, a Peter married a Jane Pierce. The church is located on a hill um, above where the main car park is as you come into Mephigussie. There's lots of balls. I, ball rings a bell. But um, until I've looked at the notes tonight, so I haven't looked at them for a while, I won't be able to tell. The Drew Patch. Duns. They're quite common here. Rolling. Rolling. Yeah, there's a big rolling patch. Several rollings, but without the S on the end. Some Kingston's as well. There's a John Barron who died June 1780, aged 34. Here lies the man whose life is at an end, the best of husbands and most sincere friends rest I hope as I do hope to be I happy with him to all eternity. Just doing the odd one or two. of Eliza, the beloved wife of Walter Barbary, who departed this life on the 25th day of November, 1843, aged 27. And it's got an inscription. The deceased is of this town. Farewell, my husband, dear my friend, the Jew. I no longer wish to stay with joy to meet the smiling God in the bright realm of day. Right, so I found one. I'm just going to take a picture. So that's Walter Barbary. That's um, as you're coming through the church on the left-hand side going clockwise. Over the uh, near the border, not right on the border, the row in front of the border. So that's Walter Barbary and his wife, Eliza. So he's not him, it's his wife, Eliza. And that's in very good condition. Next to him is uh, Thomas Marshall who died 1826, also Anne Marshall, who died 1816. Yeah, so at least 10 Baron families I can see. Jonathan, Louisa, Edith, another Jonathan. They're quite common here, Barons, B-A-R-O-N. There is a Mary Ann, wife of Thomas Gregan, something and somebody Hodge as well in there. Hodge is quite a southwest name. The Hodges in Lancashire could have moved up there at some point. First, another name, I'll do the odd name. Samuel Ball died in 1879, age 80. Also Mary's wife died 1866, age 64. Oh, here we've got an Anne, the wife of John Carbeth. That was the name of a Barbary, a woman Barbary, who married um, a G. Carbeth, which I got given to me today when I went to, when our neighbour spoke to me. Anyway, Anne, wife of John Carbeth, of this town, who departed this life on the 19th day of December in the year of our Lord, 1831, age 29. Also, John Carbeth, who died age 70 in 1862. Look at this. Barbary did marry into that family. Oh, yeah, and then there's another one in front of that. Good condition again. Of, um, John, second son of James Malhuish, M A L H U I S H, and Sarah. Carveth, who died at Langcullen 
in the parish of Goran, July the 12th, 1876-20. Oh, so Philip Henry, brother of the above, who died 3rd of March, 1865, aged three months. That's a car death. Morgan's the name, Peggy and William Morgan, Richard Hocking, Shepherds, Crags, Brother Hocking, Morris, the name is, there's a Nicholas Lee Lean, L-E-L-E-A-N. Who died in 17, no, born in 1769, died 1849. Also, Catherine, his wife, and Nicholas Lee Lane, born June 1st, 1767, died 23rd of September 1849. The surname Thomas seems quite common in here as well. There's a Pierce here, Thomas Pierce of this town, Mephagissi, who died January 28th, 1868, aged 59. That's leaning up against the St. Drew's. Roberts. Hicks. Rowling. William Cowling Rowling. Died December the 20th, 1878, aged 69. John Barrett Rowling, also an Elizabeth, who died in 1882, age 73. There's a Warrens in here, Dunseys, Crooks, Kents, Philip, Hunkin's another name, Hunkin. James, son of William and Matilda Pierce, who died October the 21st in his 24th year. Also Mary Pierce. That goes to Old Graves. Oh, hold on a minute. <coughs> Just going to turn the tape over. graves now though. This is creme stones. <coughs> so about a month's time it'll be open. There's an ancient stone in the front of the churchyard. It says this ancient cross found in 1879 on the manor of Treverbin, T-R-E-V-E-R-B-Y-N was erected in 1891. This is St. Earth Austell's bells ringing. I don't even know the name of the church yet. There's various pubs around. White Hart. Right, I'm going to stop there because um, I'll come back and do that on a separate recording, I think, when I get to St. Austell then. So, um, this is Sheila in 2013 doing an audio pod for 2007 on the Cornish visit.